When you climb inside the car, you just know you're home. The noise of an old air-cooled engine in a Porsche has just been a part of my life since I was a kid. I found Dawn, this time capsule of neglect. For some reason, it just was really attractive to me to see the car thrashed and just kind of sad, and, and uh, I wanted to help it out. I love the parts of the car. I love the detail of the taillights or the steering wheel, and so there's visually so many things about the car that I love. It has this musty, beautiful scent of just years and years of use. Often, I encounter people that have old Porsches, and they haven't driven them. I go, look at my car. Look how thrashed my car is. Let's get yours going too. I'm having so much fun. And it kind of makes them stop and think a little bit. Like, yeah, you're right. It's been a cool story for me to share that with the car, of it, just helping it, resurrect it, and put it back on the road as an old beater 356. <laughs> It allowed me to really learn about how the car was made and what the car can do. And so all of a sudden I realized it was teaching me what a Porsche is. Whatever your crazy ideas are for the day, that car wants to do it. Because of its poor condition, it allows me just to have fun with the car. Like I don't have to worry about scratching it or putting a dent in it or something. So Don and I just do most of our adventures together. But what is the connection with Don that I have? I think that it's just because it's not perfect. Neither am I, and the challenge together is perfect. That's what's interesting about preserving an old Porsche, is that you're preserving the story the life of the car. <laughs>